welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hello! I hope you like what you see, you'll stick around and you'll subscribe before you leave. On today's video we are going to speak about the favorite eye product of 2019. So this is the third part of the series called Best of 2019. Previously we were speaking about base products and then about face products. If you haven't seen those two videos, I will link them down below on the description box. But yeah, on today's video we are only going to speak about eye products and I will continue to do the disclaimer that the products I'm speaking about on this video are products that I've used them more than three months. So I have good used out of them before I consider them as my best of 2019. So yeah, I hope you enjoy this video and if you are curious to see what are my favorite eye products of 2019, then just keep watching. I'm going to start with the, the, what is on the top of the eyes and this is our brows. And I've tried a lot of brow products on 2019 because I'm a freak or brow addicted and I love to try new brow, brow products, especially brow pencils. And I have a bunch of brow pencils that I consider as favorite. First is this Colourpop Precision Brow Pencil in shade Dope Taupe. I so enjoy this product. Now I think it's toward its end and it doesn't have so much, um, how to say, so much creaminess, but I love the shade. It's really cool tone and it's working perfectly with my brow hair, with my brow natural hair color. Really good, creamy and lasts all day without any problems. The second brow product that I discovered in 2019 and I enjoy is this ELF Ultra Precise Brow Pencil. Also I have it in shade Taupe. So I have quite good amount. But the problem with this is that it's quite waxy and I do not recall to be like this when I firstly open it. So yeah, there is that. Another favorite bra product is this Catrice Slimatic Ultra Precise, Ultra Precise Bra Pencil and I have it in the shade Dark. I was usually going with the, with the shade Soft Brown I believe, but it was sold out and even this dark is not that dark, of course it's darker but it's a cool tone brown shade so I'm using it to define my lower part of my brow. I'm waiting to find my shade in and to repurchase it because this is one of the best brow products that I have discovered from drugstore and this is a repurchase. I already, already told you that I was having the soft brown. I hope it's correct as far as I remember and now I have the dark but this is a good affordable drugstore product by Coutrice. We will um, switch a bit the gear and I will uh, show you one of my cream product that I loved for 2019 and this is the Cabral by Benefit. I love the shade, I think I, I'm on the shade 2. I'm using the brush that is coming on the cap because I have the travel size version. Mm, I find the situation that my regular brushes are not fitting perfectly on this. So this is the downside if you are planning to use 
or if you're using more the gel products, I recommend you to get the full size. However, I wanted to try to see how it is and from this reason I went with travel size and I love it. I don't use so often the gel products for my brows just because I'm always in a hurry. But every time I'm on the mood to use a gel product, I love the Cabrow to setting products for keeping the brow place in bra hair in place are this P2 eyebrow styling gel in shade light. This product I got it from Germany. It's exclusive for their drugstore DM. We also have DM here in Czech Republic but they do not carry this P2 brand. You can only find it in Germany. And another setting gel, but this is clear, while it has, uh, while the P2 has a color, is this one by Terra Naturi, which is Lash and Brow Gel Mascara. Of course, I'm not using this for uh, my lashes. That's why you can tell that it has two kind of bristles. So those are longer, and on this side they are shorter. Because a part is meant to be for your lashes and the other part for your brows. I do not recommend mixing up, so if you want a clear mascara, then just buy it for your lashes and uh, get another one for brows because you will get soon infection by, by putting on your lashes. All sort of um, stuff that are on your brows. But it's really good, it's keeping my Bra brow hair in place all day and I love the fact that it's clear because sometimes I don't need an extra building up I just need some holding power on my not so stray <laughs> brow hairs I love from time to time to highlight my underline brow if I am doing some mistake instead of wiping I'm highlighting and I'm giving my brow the shape that I desire and I love the high brow pencil by Benefit it's really nice and creamy and has this pink tone you showed us a lot of products which one is your favorite brow product for 2019? okay I will tell you one thing I've tried a lot of brow pencils like I said this year and I think 90% of them are from drugstore are coming from drugstore and what I found with the brow pencils from drugstore is that after a certain amount of time they are starting to get dry they are starting to lose their original texture but it happened to not see the same result whenever I'm using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Ease. This is also a shade reference for me because I feel the shade taupe is my perfect shade for my brows. It's quite similar with the dope taupe from the Colourpop but I like this a bit more and I, I can even get natural, natural defined brows or I can get more bold. This product doesn't dry out and doesn't lose its original quality. From this reason I am still thinking this is my favorite brow product for 2019 and forever so far I haven't found any other dupe on drugstore to be as good on long term like it is this one. So if you are a person who doesn't wear brow makeup too often on their brows and you have to you want just one single product, I recommend you to invest in ABH Browies because this is a long term product. We finished the brow category and now let's move with the eye pencils. And one of my favorite eye pencil in liquid form 
is the physician's formula eye booster 2-in-1 lash boosting eyeliner and serum which of course has a brush applicator is quite tiny and I have it in the shade deep brown which is nice but I prefer to this the same product in shade black I don't have currently the black one I've used it up this product lasts more than one year without getting dry so I highly recommend this and it's not so pricey it's quite high there in price comparing with drugstore products I think it's over 10 bucks but yeah it's not 20 like is this clinic I'll put it here or maybe here this clinic pretty easy liquid pen eyeliner pen or so which I don't have it currently I've used it up on October I think when I've done my spider makeup look for Halloween I love the brush I love the shade I love everything on it and doesn't match last all day without any problem so that's one I will probably repurchase really really soon moving to cajol or gel pencils because I'm not using so much pencils on my line or to line my eyes I either use of course eyeshadow and liquid liner or from time to time I'm gonna use some pencil but not so often and I will only show you my favorite and this is so far by far my Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil in shade Rockstar so this is a plum dark plum shade it's really creamy Urban Decay formula it's my all-time favorite formula for pencil and I have another shade which I also like this is in shade Sabbat. This is a dark blue. And look how creamy it is. And it's just one swipe. So you do one swipe even without pressing and you get so much payout. So Holy Grail, I have to admit that I haven't tried so many pencils from drugstore, but Urban Decay are by far my favorite pencils. You can tell how good quality are those eye pencils because after a while they are set and they don't budge, they don't, they don't move whatsoever so you need a makeup remover to remove them from your eyelids. I also want to give it a quick mention to the Wet n Wild Ultimate Brow Highlighter Pen which I am using to line my waterline it's a bit dry for the brow so from this reason I showed you that I'm using my Benefit to define my brows because I need that to be more creamy and to spread it a bit easier and on my waterline I will use the Wet n Wild because it's a bit more dry in texture and from this reason last all day in waterline without getting smudged or so. So what uh, mascaras I discovered in 2019 and I loved. I have the Essence, the False Lashes Mascara, Extreme Volume and Curl, which I love it, but I think I almost have to throw it out because it's starting to flake on me and not to flake but I feel some uncomfortable sensation on my lashes after application but I love how big and fluffy are my lashes after I'm using this mascara also I loved this Juice Cosmetics Boombastic Lash Volumizer mascara which has this spiky wand this is an excellent mascara, very good formula. Just I find myself that the, the stopper, it's not that narrow. So from this reason, I need to wipe with a tissue the wand. 
otherwise I will build up my lashes, my lashes too much and I do not like to have uh, spidery lashes but other than that I love the formula and also the length and the volume that this mascara provides. Really excellent mascara that I have tried on 2018, 2019. Wake up! Is the Smashbox Super Fan Fan Out Mascara. This is amazing. It has this interesting brush. It's rubber and is more flat on the middle and narrow on the top. It's also nice for grabbing over the lashes of your eyes. At the beginning I've used it for my upper and lower lashes and after that I realized that this is the perfect mascara for my lower lashes so I've used it constantly for my lower lashes and I love the job. It's one of the fewest mascara that I managed to apply it on my lower lashes without getting smudged. I think it's, this is possible also because the wand is so small. I don't know if it is the same on the full size. And with this we also finished the mascara product and we have only left the eyeshadows. And here the fun is starting because we are all loving eyeshadows and especially eyeshadow palettes. And I will start with an eyeshadow palette that I discovered, I think I bought it in 2018, in the end of 2018, but I so enjoyed it in 2019 and I use it quite a while. It's the Colourpop and Kathleen Lights Dream Street eyeshadow palette. I so much love this shade called Magical and is indeed magical and you can blend the transition for almost any eyeshadow that you are wearing with this. I love those two shimmery shades. I love this teal shade. It's really nice even to wear it for your lid or for outer corner. I also love this matte shadow. This is more dark blue and this called Potion. But yeah, all the shades I love. I haven't used so much the Spark, this bright red, just because I'm usually done putting these kind of shadows on my face. I don't wear so much red shadows, but really good, affordable and high quality eyeshadow palette from Colourpop. Another eyeshadow palette that I discovered in 2019 and I was blown away with the quality of it is by BH Cosmetics Weekend Festival. So you have here 20 shadows, 20 shadows, 20 eyeshadows, and they are amazing, outstanding quality. I have done so many looks with this eyeshadow palette, but I love it. High quality, blendable, they are lasting on your eyes. They are not fading, they are not getting muddy. And I've got this from Beauty Bay, I think it was on sale. I paid like 10, 12 bucks or euro bucks for it. Love. It's my only BH Cosmetics eyeshadow palette, but I so much love it. I love my Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow palettes, but I think the one that I mostly used on 2019 is the their Soft Glam palette. It's really nice, neutral eyeshadow palette. So much love it. I bought it in the summer and I've used it quite a while. Because I'm a neutral girl most of the time. Not today, but when I'm preparing for work or for going out, I'm wearing neutral shadows. So yeah. I love the formula of ABH shadows. One eyeshadow palette about I haven't talked too much on my channel but I have made a tutorial using it. It's filmed from March or April but I was not able to post it. Yeah, is this Too Faced Sweet Peach Eyeshadow Palette. I have this palette from many years, I can say maybe two or three years and I love it so much. 
I've used it a lot. This palette is one of my most loved and used palettes of all times because I have it from a long time when I was not having so many eyeshadow palettes. You barely can tell that it was used, but I will tell you that I've used it a lot. And still has this peach scent to it, which is of course artificial, but I love it. So every time I open this palette, I feel some joy. Now I have two palettes which are my best of and I can tell that my most used eyeshadow palette it's by Urban Decay and is their Naked Reloaded eyeshadow palette I've also done a giveaway with this eyeshadow palette I love it so much I love almost all the shadows from this palette I love the fact that you can bend it, you can even keep it like this or you can put it, I cannot tell, show you on my hand how it's something like this, it will stay on your vanity, but I love the, to have so many options for transition shades, so I love the transition shades, I love that we have this satin finish buttery shade that I'm, I can use to define my brow bone or I can even use it on my lid. I love those two golden shimmery shades. I love this red, it's not red, it's like pink salmon tone. So yeah, I, I love all the shades. Why, why I'm just saying I love this. I, I love all the shades and I have used all of them. It's one of the fewest palettes that I have and I'm using constantly all the shadows from from the palette so this is my most used eyeshadow palette from 2019 and my favorite eyeshadow palette for 2019 is this Natasha Denona Sunrise palette this is my favorite eyeshadow palette that I discovered on 2019 after I purchased this one I wasn't able to find another favorite to rise up to the same uh, level with it. So I love it so much. It's by far my most expensive eyeshadow palette, but I don't regret the splurging. And I love so much the schema, the color story of this palette. It's amazing. And there is something about the matte shadows. They are almost blending by themselves. The color that you see on the pan it's exactly the color that it will translate on your eyes. And I love everything. I love the burgundy shades. I love those unique yellow or what is brick? I don't think so that is brick. It's called carnelian. It's mustard orange, I can say. And look guys, just one swipe. Look how pigmented it is. I think the Morgan, this peachy shade, is one of the most used shadows from this palette. Look, one swipe. This is the best eyeshadow palette that I discovered during 2019. And now I'm more intrigued to <laughs> purchase another shadows or another eyeshadow palette from Natasha Denona, so I need to save more money to be able to purchase one of them, but I'm thinking, I'm thinking to, to get another eyeshadow palette because I've heard that the consistency between their eyeshadow palettes it's similar, so I haven't heard people complaining that the quality is worse. And yeah, this wraps up this video for today. Those are my favorite eye products of 2019 and I so enjoyed collecting, thinking and speaking about these products so much because the eye products are by far my favorite makeup products of all. I'm always or mostly torn to eye makeup, of course, and also lipstick, but for lips there will be another category of best of 2019. But yeah, let me know if you have one or more of these products in your collection if you have tried them, if you enjoy them or maybe you don't and let me know the reasons why you don't like them. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch 
give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and I hope you return on my channel for more videos like this. I want to wish you all to have a great blessed day ahead. Don't forget to check my other best of 2019 videos that I will link down below. Don't forget to follow me on my social and I will see you again on my next video. Bye!